Making chocolate ganache is really, really easy, and it sounds fancy, and you'll see it on a lot of restaurant menus as part of a chocolate cake, and you think, wow, that's some fancy thing. And really, all it is is a mixture of chocolate and cream and a little bit of butter um, and poured over any sort of dessert. It makes this gorgeous, shiny, chocolatey sheen. It looks super professional, and it's really delicious, and it's so easy to do that you can take a boring, lumpy pound cake that maybe has crumbs on it, maybe it's a little uneven, pour some chocolate ganache over it, and make it look like it's this gorgeous, very professional looking dessert. I'm going to show you how to make ganache today, it's really easy. What, um, first what I have to do is go heat up the cream. First step is to melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter in a saucepan with two cups of heavy cream, which is one pint. You just want to bring this up. You don't want to boil it, but you want to make sure the butter melts and you want the cream to be hot because ganache is really simple and all you really need to do is to have the cream be hot enough to melt the chocolate. And chocolate melts at body temperature, so really anything above 98.6 is great. Okay, what I have here is two cups of heavy cream with two tablespoons of unsalted butter melted into it. It's been heated up so that the butter's melted. And in this bowl, I have eight ounces of chopped bittersweet chocolate. And if you want to know how to chop chocolate the easy way, check out my other video on chopping, chopping chocolate. And what I'm just going to do is pour the hot cream and butter over the chocolate. We're making ganache here. It's really easy. I told you it was. And then we're just going to wait for a minute because we want the heat of the cream and the butter to just start melting all of that chocolate together. And in just a second, we're going to stir it like crazy and it's going to be this beautiful, glossy, smooth chocolate stuff, and you're not going to believe that you just made ganache. And you did. Once you've stirred up your ganache so it's nice and glossy and smooth, you want to still use it while it's warm. It will start to set up a little bit as it cools, and actually, ganache is a great way of filling for truffles. So if you wanted to make truffles, you could just put your ganache into the refrigerator, chill it for a few hours, be sure to place plastic wrap on the surface of the chocolate so it doesn't create a um, skin. But then you could actually scoop it out with a melon ball or roll it into balls, and it's this perfect, dense, delicious chocolate for inside truffles. Um, but the way I'm going to use it right now is I'm just going to pour it over a pound cake to make this boring pound cake into something that looks a little bit appealing. Um, and I'm going to wait just a little bit until this is slightly thicker, but I still do want to use it while it's warm. Um, and then I'll show you how nice it makes the cake look. Because I'm going to pour my ganache over my cake, I put my cake on a rack in a sheet tray with a rim on it so I can just pour the chocolate over it and the, chocolate, the excess chocolate will go to the bottom instead of just pooling around the bottom of the cake. And you can see how beautiful, I'm going to start pouring from the back, but you can see how beautiful the chocolate is as it coats the cake. Mm. One of the great things about ganache, too, is you can put any sort of flavoring in the chocolate. A little bit of grated orange zest, a little bit of peppermint extract, a little bit of lemon, chili powder, um, vanilla, Almost any flavoring you can just stir in once you've melted the chocolate and um, you can have great flavor in all sorts of different ways. 